Hello folks, welcome to bsvtrainings.com. So last week, 29th, 28th of January, um, IPN released PS11124 release. So I'm going to show you how to perform installation today. We are going to install uh, IPN11124 on uh, Windows 2008. I'm going to install this in virtual machine, VM player and the actual installation done by Jagdish Tadapalli, I am going to present it. There are three videos. In first video, I am going to show you how to install and second video, we will see how to configure and third video to be presented by Jagdish. He will show you uh, the different troubleshooting activities. So, let's get started. The first step as we always do, we will do a software and hardware requirement checklist. So, you should refer to the certification matrix, Oracle HyperIn certification matrix. We are supposed to check what are the underlying operating system, database, supported browser, MS Office and application web server. Then I walk you through with what are the EPMA components to be installed. I will show you from where you can download this, download unzip and finally uh, the installation process. Post installation we will also check what are the required environment variables and then during configuration process we will use Oracle 11.1.2 and um, we set there are a couple of properties required to be set especially character set for Oracle what character set is required we will discuss about this this activity is to be performed before configuration and then post configuration we will validate our application up and running all required applications uh, we can check this in our web logic server or deployment there is a, there is a file called validate.bat we can check the validate deployment we validate all the services and finally we'll walk you I'll walk you through the log files. So let's start with installation process. First you require to download your HyperN software because the only twenty eight few days before only this the software got uploaded. Therefore the documentations are not available yet. From here you can download HyperN all the software components you see as often it consists of EPMA component and their various application components like SPACE, HFR, reporting components, your financial management planning. So whatever you need to require you download them. I already downloaded them and unzip it and post unzip it look like this way. So likewise in previous release also we have got assembly folder and respective XML files. So because I'm going to install this on virtual machine Oracle VM. In this Oracle VM I already installed my uh, operating system I'm using Windows 2008 R2 release data center and my processor is Intel i7 processor I allocated 20 GB to this in order to make sure the installation goes smooth and I'm using 64 bit of operating system before you install it uh, you're supposed to map this external drive with your virtual machine to go to manage setting go to options and uh, from here share drive I already mapped this you can quickly quickly uh, map this, click on add and browse through your folder and map it. Okay. So once you map it, it it will be start visible in your in your browser, I mean your Windows Explorer under network, you can see all the files. Okay. So I'm not going to copy this, I'll map this with my Windows. So go to tools and map network drive. Give some network drive name and map it. So before we start installation, we'll quickly walk you through with the uh, certification matrix. I'm going to install in Windows 2008 R2. So this is the supported matrix. 11.1.2.3 is the version. Processor type is your Intel 64-bit. And my operating system is Windows R2. Um, and this is operator Oracle Fusion Middleware, JDK 1.6. And I'm using Oracle database, Oracle 11.2.0.1. So you can go through the whole matrix. In today example, we are going to install in Windows 2009 and subsequent release we install on Linux and other operating system as well. So quickly cross-check, we already tested our operating system was Windows 2008. Okay. And uh, processor is also compatible. I've got adequate memory. And the database I'm using over here is Oracle. We'll quickly cross-check Oracle database and the version we are using it, SQL Plus. and in simple query select a star from V version. 
it's 11.2.0.1 it's a compatible right and it is also important to look at the character set so the character set which we are using over here you can see under your dvd or rec file under character set character set we are using ut al al32 utf8 this is supported character set so during installation oracle database asks you what character set you like to pick up you like to select you can choose it from here it's all given in our documentation you can browse through so we have already installed operating system we have already installed oracle database 11.2 11.2.0.1 now i'm ready to install hypen software so you can directly install invoke this already map it so as in the previous release we'll also invoke the install tool.cmd install dot install tool.cmd or sh file depends upon which operating system you are using so i invoked it it will little slow it take some time to pop up it popped up and in the first step i'm going to install only foundation services hfm and planning and space select the language and the welcome screen so quickly browse through this it does a quick check about the operating system so epm system installer successfully resolve the host name and we have got supported operating system windows 2008 r2 and all the the environment the environment variables prerequisites are met and inventory is writable we go ahead next and select the required i'm going to install this in d drive I allocate D drive, and the default path is D, uh, C drive or D drive, whatever you select. Oracle and middleware. Go next, and select the software you like to install. See, I'm going to install it first time, so new installer, new installation is visible. Other two options gray out, because uh, this is the first time installing it. Click next, select the required software. In this case, I'm going to install only foundation services, and I'm going to install. financial management as space planning and reporting components uh, in subsequent release we install other software as well but right now we are going to install only these component select next and the installation will go on click next the installation take take some time so i'll pause this video and come back when the installation will be close to 100% one installation is done we'll see how to configure it 